Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get three different looks using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration Palette. The first look I'm going to show you how to get is this very colorful, kind of summery kind of look. The second look I'm going to show you how to get is a very neutral, kind of date night look with some sparkle. And then the third look I'm going to show you how to get is a very simple smoky eye with some hints of green and no lashes required. So before we get started with the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and you can also follow me on Instagram I'll leave my name right here on the screen and if you guys would like to see how I got all three of these looks then just keep watching okay guys so the first look I am gonna show you how to get is the colorful summer look so the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna go into is the shade pooter and I'm just taking this Luxie fluffy brush and blending that into the crease going in back and forth motions and also circular motions to blend everything out Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Jada, and I'm taking a flat brush and just applying that all over my lid and just really building up the color as much as possible because I really, really want this to be nice and vibrant. I also prime my lids beforehand using my Urban Decay Primer Potion and set it with some translucent powder. So like I said, just building up the color on both of my eyelids and blending slightly into the crease. And then next I'm taking the shade Hunts and I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush and blending that into the crease and kind of blending that turquoise color in with the transition color as well and just making sure everything kind of flows together. Next I'm going to take the shade Pool Party and this color is so gorgeous. I am just taking my finger and applying some of that shadow all over my lid just right on top of the previous turquoise shade. And then I'm going back in with Jada and that small synthetic brush and just sweeping that on my lower lash line to add some color. And then I'm gonna go back into the shade Hunts and blend that on the bottom just to kind of smoke everything out. And then next I'm going to take the shade Beam and I'm going to take a small pencil brush and place that in my inner corners. I love this shade and the palette it is so gorgeous and it's so blinding and it's like the perfect inner corner shade. I'm also placing that color on my brow bone just to highlight. Next I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Eye Booster in the shade Ultra Black and I am just creating a classic wing. And then next I'm taking this e.l.f. gel liner in the shade black and taking a small eyeliner brush and placing that gel liner in my waterline. And then I'm just applying a few coats of this Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And then off camera I'm going to apply these Ardell Foam Ink Lashes. Next I'm going to go in with bronzer and today I'm using my Benefit Hulu bronzer and taking this e.l.f. bronzing brush and just bronzing up my cheeks and slightly contouring and just blending that out. I wanted to keep the bronzer pretty warm because I wanted to match the transitions on my eyeshadow. So then I'm taking the shade Beam and using that as my highlight and this makes one of the most beautiful highlights ever and I just like how it tied in with the eye look. So I'm just placing that on my cheekbones and then I'm going to be placing that on the bridge of my nose as well. But actually first I'm going to contour my nose using my Hoola bronzer. So I'm just contouring how I usually do and then I'm going to be placing that highlighter on top. Next I'm going in to this Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it into my bronzer and also putting a little bit on my nose and chin. So then next for my lips I am placing this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream on my lips and this is in the shade Tokyo and then I am going over that color with the shade London just to tone down how bright the pink was. And that completes the first look. I love how this turned out. I love the pops of color and I love that it's not super harsh, but it's just definitely something you can wear during the summertime if you're wanting some fun and color in your life. <laughs> so the next look I'm gonna show you how to get is this very simple but slightly dramatic uh, date night look. 
So I am going back into the shade Pooter once again and placing that in my crease and blending it as I usually do for my transition. And then next I am going into the shade Chip and also the shade Central Park and just blending those two together on the outer third of my eyelid and then slightly blending that into the crease. And then I'm also going on the inner portion of my eye and blending into the crease. So I'm gonna be kind of creating somewhat of a halo eye for this look. So you wanna leave the center of your lid empty because we're gonna be applying some shimmer shades in just a second. So once again, just going on that outer third of my eye, blending into the crease and then going into the inner corner and blending up as well. Next I'm taking the shade Hustle and I'm gonna be placing that all over the center of my lid with my finger. And then I'm gonna take the shade Beam and I'm gonna be placing that on top of Hustle just because I wanted a little bit more shine for this look and I really wanted it to pop. And then I'm taking a brush with no product on it and just kind of blending those two colors together. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Chip and this small detailing brush and I'm gonna go in on my lower lash line with that color and I'm gonna kinda leave a little bit of space on the inner corner of my eye because we're gonna be adding some highlight in that area in just a second. So I'm just blending that in and then I am taking that original transition shade Pooter and just taking a fluffy brush and blending it up to the top. And then I'm gonna take the shade in light and I'm gonna take a small pencil brush and I'm gonna place that on the inner corners of my eyes and then bring that in to the empty space on my lower lash line. I feel like this is gonna make your eyes look super awake and nice and bright. So I'm gonna also add that in light shade on my brow bone to highlight. And then I'm gonna take this Ulta Beauty Gold Glitter Liner and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid and continue to build up the pigment with the glitter because I really just wanted to add some sparkle and just to make it look kind of pretty and elegant and for it to all tie together. So then I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Black Eyeliner again and I'm just gonna line the top portion of my eye and not create a wing this time. And then I'm gonna take this brown Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. I think this is in the shade West. And I'm gonna place that on my waterline. And then next I'm gonna apply a few coats of my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And then I'm gonna apply these Eye Lure Exaggerated Lashes. I believe this is in the shade, or I'm sorry, the style number 142. And I just applied those off camera. So then next I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm just bronzing up my cheeks a little, not doing any like harsh contouring. I just wanted the face to look a little bit more natural. And then of course I am contouring my nose. And then next I'm taking this Maybelline Master Strobe Cream and I am just dabbing that on with a beauty blender. I always laugh because it looks so harsh at first. So once you blend everything in, it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just taking my time with that and just blending everything in using the sponge and my fingers and just making my face look extra glowy. And then I'm gonna apply that highlight to the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and chin. And then I'm gonna take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and I am gonna just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And also on my nose and a little bit on my chin. I just feel like this really ties the look together. It just makes it look more natural. And then I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catherine and applying that to my lips. And that completes the second look. I love this one. This one is actually my favorite out of all three. It is so elegant and beautiful, but it's still neutral and it kind of has a lot of drama to it. But at the same time, I feel like it's not like overkill, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so next I'm gonna show you how to get a really simple smoky eye. This is definitely an everyday kind of smoky eye, which is what I love about it. So I'm going in with the shade Pooter, and then I am just applying that on the outer third of my eye and just slightly blending into the crease. And then next I'm gonna take the shade in light 
and just taking my finger and applying that to the rest of my eyelid and kind of blending it in with that first transition shade. And then I'm taking the shade Central Park and then I'm gonna slightly apply some of that eyeshadow on the outer third of my eye. Keeping all of the darker shades on the outer portion of the eye is gonna make it look really smoky and kind of more grungy, which is something I really love. So then I'm gonna take the shade Enchanted and the shade is like a beautiful deep forest green. I thought it would look so pretty to add this to the smoky eye just to add a little bit of color without it looking too bright or too colorful for the smoky eye. So I'm just applying that in the outer third of my eye and slightly blending in to the crease. And then I'm taking that same Enchanted shade and a small pencil brush and placing that on my lower lash line. And then I am taking that original transition shade, Pooter, and the fluffy brush and just kind of tying everything together and blending up. And then I'm taking the shade Obsessed and I'm going to place that on the center of my eye because I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle and shine to the look. And then I'm going back in with the shade and light and I'm going to place that on my inner corners and once again kind of going in on the lower lash line a little just to make it look more bright and awake. And then I'm going to also place that color on my brow bone. Next I'm taking this NYX black eyeliner and I am just placing that about halfway down my upper lash line. I'm not going to be super precise with this because we're about to blend that out. So I'm going in with the shade Abyss and I'm just really smudging out that black eyeliner just to add more of a grungy kind of look to the smoky eye. And then I decided I kind of wanted a tiny wing, but nothing too crazy. So I'm just taking that black eyeliner again and just flicking up the eyeliner upwards and then going back in with Abyss and the pencil brush and just really smudging everything out. And then I'm gonna be placing this Urban Decay 24 seven eyeliner. This is in the shade Apathy. And this is like a really, really deep hunter green, pretty much the same color as that eyeshadow. And I am just putting that in my waterline. And then I am smudging everything out with this pencil brush. And then I'm gonna be curling my lashes pretty good because I'm not gonna be applying any false lashes to this look. I just want my lashes to look nice and natural and kind of wispy so I'm gonna use this Jose Max Lash Volumizing Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It makes my lashes look really voluminous and I just love how it looks. And then on my lower lash line I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This just really helps separate the lashes. Next I'm gonna go into this IBY Beauty Contour Palette and I'm gonna actually use all three of those contour shades because I feel like it makes kind of like the perfect shade for my skin tone and I'm gonna contour and bronze my face a little. And since I have my bangs pulled back, I am gonna also bronze on my forehead a little bit just to tie everything together. I also bronzed down the sides of my nose just a little bit too, just for some light contouring. For a highlight, I'm gonna go into the shade In Light and I'm gonna take this e.l.f. highlighting brush and place that on the high points of my face. And I'm also gonna place that on the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Next, I'm gonna take this Tarte blush in the shade Party, and I'm gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take this ColourPop lip liner in the shade O oh Snap, and also the ColourPop lippy stick that comes with it, which is also in the shade O oh Snap, and I'm gonna apply that to my lips. I just wanted to keep the lips nice and neutral because I thought the smoky eye would look really pretty with more of a nude lip. And that completes this last look. I love how this turned out because this is something you can wear every day and it's smoky but still a little bit natural. I hope you guys enjoyed these makeup looks. Please leave a comment down below on which one is your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.